So in the last video, we went ahead and polished the wheels, got those looking spicy. Well, we need to do the exhaust. So using a white diamond polisher, we are about to bring these things back to life. Also gotta do the muffler because when you're behind me and I'm driving, you can actually see the muffler. So I tend to do that too. And of course we gotta compare it. So this is what it looked like before the polish. And then this is what it looked like after the polish. I like to take care of this exhaust because to be honest, it was not cheap. So I tend to like shine it up every so often, but it looks good. Yo, it looks good. I'm telling you guys, stuff is a game changer. If you're not using it, you gotta get on that wave. And it's time to move on to what this video really is about. Now the question is, will it start? Is the battery dead? Folks, the battery is dead. Oh wait, mm. pretty sure these would probably help a little bit, huh? Oh, let's go. Yikes, this thing always falls, yeah? Maybe I should remove it every time I park it. All right, and let's see if she will start. Oh, barely, barely, but the point is she started, let's go. So I've hinted so many times on the channel that a BMW E92 M3 is most likely what's next to come as far as like a new car on a channel. Now as to when we're getting it, I don't know. Obviously we're manifesting it, but is that something that you guys would want to see on the channel? Like, would you want to see E92 M3 build on the channel? Now, I've said so many times that I wouldn't sell this car, even though I've, I've thought about it. I'm not going to lie, I've thought about it. I've put it out there. I wanted to see what you guys thought. But it boiled down to me making the decision that I probably will never sell this car just because it was the starter of this channel, the start of, like, my car knowledge, the start of me learning how to drive manual, all the above, right? Um, so... With that being said, like I wouldn't sell this car for it. I would never sell the Z for it. The Z is just that car. It's literally that item that's in my life that lets me know and it reminds me every single time I drive it, every single time I think about it, that things will always fall into place. Because I tell you guys all the time, I say it all the time. I wanted a Nismo, didn't know how I was going to get it. Literally a couple months later, I ended up getting the car. I bought it to boost it. I wanted to boost it, got the car, didn't know how I was going to boost it because I knew it was expensive. Ended up boosting the car. And like here we are now so it's literally that reminder that everything will always fall into place as long as you manifest it as long as you want it bad enough it will fall into place so I own two cars now that I would never sell so getting an E92 I will literally have four cars bro I have no use for four cars that's how I think of it so with that being said like I would have to like take this car and figure out what to do with it because this is a car that I don't drive as often I know when I get the E92 I would probably drive that car more than I drive this car because obviously it's a newer car it's stock so I would want to like learn learn the car you know basically just get familiar with it right so this would be a car that maybe I would move into storage or maybe 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 just maybe I would take it back to NorCal and leave it at my parents house I'm not too for sure um, but yeah that's that's just literally me like pouring out my thoughts like basically what's in my head and just putting it out there for you guys to know like what I'm thinking about um, obviously this is probably not gonna happen anytime soon um, again, we're manifesting it. I, I say it's not going to happen soon, but who knows? Who knows what God has in store for us, right? So but that's pretty much where my head's at now. I'm interested in knowing what you guys want to see on the channel. Obviously, at the end of the day, it's my decision, right? I know that. But I still like to hear from you guys, you know? Oh, yeah. I forgot we deleted our blow off valve. I'm not too sure if I want to leave the blow off valve off or put it back on. Because it wasn't annoying. I just wanted to kind of hear a different sound like flutter or something you know but it didn't, it didn't sound bad either way <laughs> yo look 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 guys look <laughs> that fool's like what is that <laughs> that's actually pretty funny No, I guess he's not feeling it either. Yo, this car got some juice though. Yeah, that flutter sounds amazing, yo. I can actually hear it. I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick that up, but I can hear it. it sounds pretty good. I guess, uh, 
I can see all the looks that I uh, I would get. This car is uh, definitely not the quietest. I would say that. I will admit it. No problem. This is a spot that I enjoyed bringing the Z, but this speed bump is just way too big, yo. The only reason why we're able to get away with this and this car is because it's on air. But I would never bring the Z here. Hard. This is a dope spot though, look at this. I'm not too sure if there's another way we can get here. Like, oh no, I can see there's a speed bump down there too. So uh, I guess this is a ST only spot. So we came over here, brought this car out because I wanted to inform you guys that today technically will be the very last day that we drive the ST. It will be disappearing. You guys probably won't see it for a while. Now this is not clickbait. I do not want you guys commenting saying, oh, he's clickbaiting, this, this, and that. I'm not clickbaiting. This will be the last time that you guys see this car for a while. I don't know how long, but it's going to be a minute. Now, to kind of explain why, one word and you'll understand everything. Watch. Three, two, one. Smog. <laughs> you heard me right. The smog is due. The registration is due for this car. Now, if you know, you know. I'm not going to go into detail for legal reasons. But if you know, you know. Registration is due. Smog is due. So that being said, it will cost a pretty penny. I did it on the Nismo, right? We got that squared away, everything was good. It will cost me a pretty penny to get this car registered right now, as of right now. Because if I'm being honest, I don't have the time, <clears throat> time to put this car back to stock. So again, I just, I know what it takes to smog this car and get it all good and ready for the streets. Because I did it on the Nismo a couple months back. And right now, I just, don't want to do that I don't want to deal with it I have other things that I have to take care of other priorities so with that being said the ST is gonna be going on non-op I don't know when we're gonna get this squared away hopefully it's not too far out like I don't I honestly don't think that it's gonna be forever like six months you know what I mean it's nothing like that it's just I just rather because I, I already don't drive this car like that right like I already I promised you guys that I take it out more which you know I kind of kept my promise you know give me some credit for that but even with me trying I still don't drive this car as much as I drive the Z the reason why I kind of explained it in the same video I explained why I don't drive this car but just to give you the cliff notes it's because you know obviously parking at my place I live in an apartment not a house and so I only park this car corner spots and in order for me to save the spot that I parked this car in I would have to move one of my other cars, put it in that spot so I can save this spot that I put this car in, yada yada yada. So that's one of the reasons why I don't drive it as much. And uh, again, it's just, it's easier with living on your own, completely on your own actually. It's just easier dealing with two cars versus three. Because as you guys know, we not rich yet. I'm gonna be honest, we not rich yet. Yet, yet is the key word. You gotta, you gotta take the yet, put it in your pocket, save it for later, make sure that you keep it at all times because yet is the key word. We ain't rich yet, you know, so again, Living on your own is just easier dealing with two cars rather than three. But the fact that I'm able to have three cars out here in SoCal is still a blessing that I will never overlook. But yeah, like I said, it's just an adult decision that I have to make at this very moment. Adulting is very ghetto. I'll tell you that, adulting is very ghetto. If you guys live at home, stay at home. I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, like I said, this car is, it's not disappearing, but we're just saying bye to it for now. Well, I mean, it kind of is disappearing, but it's not like, permanently disappearing you know what I mean but I do feel very very blessed to be able to own two we're gonna call heavily modified cars because I mean in a sense they are heavily modified according to California they're extremely modified matter of fact I might go to jail for this but it's just a blessing you know and I will never overlook that because for those of you who don't know this car is paid off so I own this car 100% I actually have the pink slip at my house I have the title to this car I own it 100% so it is uh, definitely a blessing to be able to say that and I will never overlook that when I say that please don't think of it as me like bragging or trying to like flex or anything like that because uh, this was the very first car that I owned I did not buy this car by myself I bought it with the help and assistance you know of my parents of course because this was the very first car that I bought um, and obviously I didn't have any credit any like that this is a car that taught me about cars this was the car that taught me how to drive stick and pretty much everything that I know now is just a branch off of this car this car is the foundation of this channel and my life pretty much now the z the boosted z that we have at home for those of you who don't know we do have a 370z that you guys saw in the beginning of this video that is a top mount single turbo build it's funny because i was thinking that today this literally the the amount of money that i have in that car i could have literally took it and bought uh e92 m3 
damn near cash, which is funny. It's besides the point. But we do own that car too. Um, and it's just a blessing to be able to like have both cars and both of them be modified. It's just, I would never overlook that. I, I think about that all the time. It's just, it's just a blessing. So ladies and gentlemen, let's just sit back and enjoy this one last time because no, it is not completely disappearing, but we also don't know when's the next time it will be out on the streets like this. One thing that always amazed me about this car is how clean these wheels stay out here, which is weird. Because back at home, which I guess it does make sense because back home I was around more dirt. But like these wheels, even though they're kind of dirty right now, these are this, this is nothing compared to what they would be like if I was back at home. They're pretty clean though. But I was telling you guys earlier though, like that same like polisher that I use like on the Z with those wheels and like the exhaust. Is the same one I use on these wheels and it just brings it back to life like completely because like even on camera it seems like they're really shiny right now which they are but it's nothing compared to when I use the polisher yo it it just brings it like back to life it's crazy <laughs> had to do one last pull you guys know this no dealio at least one last pull. I'm gonna be right. Wow, that flutter sounds amazing. Yeah, you guys can't hear the flutter, but I can hear it, and it sounds amazing. Now, see, another reason why. Excuse me if I have something on my face. Another reason why um, I, I'm not gonna say I don't drive this car, but like just things need to be fixed, right? So I'm gonna just flat out say like, there's still, I still have that, that little knocking noise coming from like the rear left, like the driver's side. And it's my shock. I took it off before, you guys know this, took it off before. Uh, if you guys remember, I don't know if you remember or not, but I took it off before in the video. Found out that the uh, bushing basically exit the chat. So it's like metal to metal contact. And so I would pretty much need like another shock. Well, obviously they don't sell shocks separately. So I would have to buy two shocks. These shocks are from Airlift and they're like $500, which obviously it is what it is, right? Fix it. But it's just, you know, things need to be fixed. And even my uh, quarter panel on the driver's side, you guys know it buckled because when we were getting this, this fitment dialed in, I didn't get the ride height dialed in. So we hit a bump on the freeway and it like hit the fender, hit the lip of the wheel and it buckled it. So that needs to be fixed. And that's, that, honestly, that, really kind of sometimes i don't feel like driving a car because of that it kind of bugs me I'm not gonna lie so just you know things need to be fixed on this car but in due time they will be fixed control the pops watch so for those of you who wonder if you can't control them yes you can it's all in the throttle baby just like that the ST is signing out They hate it, they never believe me Yeah, I would never drop the ball I know I make it look easy Yeah, Mayweather with the defense I don't care what a critic got to say I got him picking up the pieces Got to me, you really playing with your life I'm about to come and run it all back I'm the new era, about to snap back You ain't fitting for it, cause you all cap like